The following video comes with a warning. It contains scenes of complete and total idiocy. Always remember, your health and safety should come first. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of the Van Build series. Today we're going to be taking out the floor, hopefully. Um, and maybe if we've got enough time today, fill in all the holes that were left by the bolts um, that screw the seats down. There she comes. Good morning. Good morning. She doesn't quite know what to do to get up to the van yet from the back, which she won't be doing a lot of anyway when it comes to uh, getting in because there'll be a bed at the back, hopefully. Yes. So, yeah, like Shell said, we're going to take the floor out, uh, going to take the door and the side panel cards out yeah. um, get it back to complete bare metal <coughs> in the back with the wheel arches out as well um, that we're just sat on at the moment or the wheel arch covers uh, there's some bracketry from the seat still to, to remove and then we'll be able to see where we're at there's a few little spots inside uh, little rust spots that you can just see up here um, so we'll clean all them up and we'll get some white hammer out on them and then there's the uh, the bit of a dink on this yeah, side we'll outside. Yeah, but we'll tell you a little bit more about the van, eh? Yeah. So it's a Ford Transit 17 seater minibus, as it, or it was, as we've said in the last one. Let's just spin you around now. Okay, and uh, someone tried to pinch it out of the, uh, the out of the lockup it was stored in from the company that had it. And as they drove out, they hung it up on the side post because it's quite a big long van and they didn't quite uh, they didn't quite make it through. So yeah, there's that side there that's gonna need a little bit of a uh, little bit of work and filler. I'm just making sure you can see it, get my shadow out of the way. Um, and then there's a couple of little marks about the place. Yeah, the mirror and uh, this bumper here has got a little bit of mark, it's been screwed back through there, so we'll have a look at that and try and sort that out. But considering its age, it's, you know, oh, it's in, pretty good name, it's right? in excellent condition. Yeah. I mean, the, the amount. It's really, because it's only done 61,000 miles on the clock. 61,486, I think it was, when we picked it up, which is nothing for a vehicle of its age. It's the 2.4 turbo diesel. Um, there's a couple of other little marks, the wing mirror, as Shell said there. Uh, there's a few little stone chips that are going to need sorting out on it. There's a little dink on the door there. But generally, it's clean and tidy, and there's not a lot to do in the cab, really. A little bit of rust down there that's going to need sorting out. But the sills are all really, really clean. Start with the back foot plate. Let's spin you around again. Freya's in the way now. So it's a uh, it's a Torx 30, so I've got that in the impact driver and I've cleaned a couple of the heads out on the back here. So you're gonna have a go? Yeah. Get your gloves on. Uh, so the heads are full of dust. We're gonna keep this plate, I think, to go back over whatever's in there. So give them a clean out, because they've got years of dirt in. Are you inspecting? Come on, let me get in. No, you're not going on there. What are you doing now? You're coming down again. Graceful. Give them all a little clean out and then they should buzz out. There you go. The right way start. Yeah, that looks like it's on Titan. So, little switch there. Click it on to loosen. Push it out. We'll get the head seated in and put a little bit of weight on it and start with just a slow press. 
That's it. There we go. I'll keep holding them because we're going to want to plate back in. We'll give it a polish. Where's the tub? Uh, we'll have to have a new tub for these, I think. So just make sure it's seated right in. Was a bit easier that one. That's it. Let's free that. This sun's making for great light levels again. That's good, will that come free now? There we go. So we can see the uh, the rubber coating and the slug, the subfloor underneath it and down to the floor there they're going to be some great templates to uh to cut our new floor off but we can see the bottom of the van there all right we need to take out this middle middle bit now uh, so you're swapping over to a screwdriver bit If you just pull the collet up there and then pull your bit out, it just locks out there. And then same again to put the bit in. <laughs> there you go. thinking about putting an extension on here so Graham can stand up because as you can see he can't. It's about making it functional and comfortable for us um, really otherwise we'd have bought a, a motor home but we wanted to do it, adapt this to what our needs and what we need and we do need to put an extension on the roof. Graham's been searching a lot on YouTube at the moment and different ways to do it let us know if you've done it. Um, also, we also have put side flares on each of these so we can have the king size bed running that way rather than that way. Because again, we need a king size bed um, for Greg to be comfortable in. And since he's going to be doing most of the driving, um, it's super important. Yeah. Should we try and heat that panel up and push it out a little? We can do, yeah. Again, Greg's been watching there. Uh, YouTube tutorials on how to push the panel on. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go as well, so, because we can save money on big jobs, that's what we're going to do, and little jobs of course. Um, want to make this as much of a self-build as we can. As Shell has just alluded to, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I watched a couple of YouTube tutorials that showed a guy tipping hot water over a panel and it popped out, and another guy using a heat gun and a sucker. I don't have a sucker, but I do have a heat gun. So I decided to give it a heat up and give it a push from the inside. And we did get a pop. It did pop out a little on both panels. But we soon discovered there was a little bit more filler in there than we thought originally. With Shell now on the heat gun, we had another push at a couple of panels. And then I decided to have a go at the lines with two hammers one on the inside and one on the outside to try and bounce the metal back into some kind of position.
Once we were happy with the lines that we got, we started the process of uh, sanding back and prepping, ready for some filler. YouTube tutorials and um, I do too with him but for me learning is more about reading than watching. Obviously Blaine's a very visual learner uh, and I'm not so yes I bought this little baby the Van Conversion Bible by Charlie Lowe and Dale Con Conley. Let's see how this goes. The battery had gone on the other camera, so Shell's just got that one back out. Um, yeah, the wheel arch is going to have to just come away because they just put a self tapper through there, which I'm going to take out and uh, fill and then try and get some new clicks in in the back. Uh, I'll take, try and take these off now, these lower ones, full of muck. Shell's been cleaning out the back. Uh, it looks a lot better than it did, but it's, it's still it's absolute filthy. <laughs> it's rotten, absolutely rotten. But how many years of grime and dust? And a fair few. Uh, I've been slammed now. But you threatened to tip down my back. Yeah. I'll get my own back. And I've been uh, well. I've got the wheel arch cover off now. And uh, there's a little bit of rust here in that corner and it goes just underneath. So I'm just cleaning that back. Someone has definitely had filler in here before, but that seems quite solid. No wads of cash hidden in the uh, sides then. No, no wads of cash. I'm quite happy with the sound hidden on the bottom though. It saves us ordering all that sound deadening. We just need for the insides of these panels, the insides of those panels, up in these top panels here where you can hear it rattling. This little pool of water here is just because they've stuck that back on with uh, insulation tape. <laughs> <laughs> Folded over like you used to do when you were a kid. No, he's in very good nature's albums before, isn't he? He is. We've decided on Wolfie, haven't we? Yeah, he's registered because of the red. So, yes. Wolfie. So, we've got wolves and bees and rabbits and hares. It's just a, uh, it's a menagerie. It is a menagerie, but we love wildlife, don't we? That's the whole idea of it, isn't it? To get out, away and into the wild. It certainly is. It certainly is. It's a little mascot that's um, going to be a family heirloom that we can pass down, which um, <laughs> Graham wasn't too impressed with the price, but... Or the beady eyes. Or the beady eyes. It looks a bit evil. No, it doesn't. He's gorgeous. He's a criminal. He does look like a bit of a criminal, that's why I like him. He's dodgy. <laughs> 
Fagan. Fagan. Got to pick a pocket or two. He's got such a smart jacket. Right, well, I think I'm giving up for today because we've got stuff to do this afternoon, haven't we? The next morning. This will be the Freshfields Hedgehog Rescue. We found a hedgehog last night. I'll take you show him. He's asleep. He's smelly. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Spin you around. Get down in his little bed. There he is, he's fast asleep. Giving him some water and some food and some bedding. He's made himself a little bed. Cover it back up. <laughs> so, there we go. Shut him back in. So Freya wants to investigate, but can't. <laughs> Anyway, so good morning and um, welcome back. And today we're gonna to carry on where we left off. Um, I've just walked you through and shown you the hedgehog we found and rescued yesterday. He was all discombobulated. Oh, bless him. 
he's had a good night's sleep and he's eaten, so we don't think anything's happened to him and he doesn't seem to be injured, thankfully. I'm just waiting for the rescue to ring me back uh, so we can get some advice on what to do with him or her. Um, I don't know if they'll want us to take it back to where we found it or take it to them so they can have a check over of him or her. But yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, uh, the dog knows something's in, Freya knows something's in the uh, garage, doesn't she? She's she does. not happy. She keeps sniffing and wants to say hello, but we don't really want to disturb her dogs. He's sleeping now. He is. He's, he's well. I've just I've just shown him on video. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went through and shown him, but he is still asleep. I didn't oh. disturb him, and for some reason, I think the camera's upside down because all the info is at the top. So I'll have to spin it around when I'm editing later. But uh, yet yeah, today, then we've got the supplies and we're going to carry on. I've just uh, ground them bolts off. I tried to get it with the saber saw, but it just blunted the Bosch bit, so they are really <laughs> hard and steel. Are you falling off? Um, You're pushing me off. The grinder has got them down to a reasonable height, so they'll be sat. So just watch out because they'll be sharp and we'll have to put a little file over them and get them back later. Yeah, and my plan is to try and get this somewhat clean today. I had to go go it up yesterday, but yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely filthy because obviously it's got, what, 16 years worth of grind dirt yeah. and grease and where drinks have been spilt, obviously, all stuck to the floor. So, yeah. That's my plan, to try and get it somewhat clean. Uh, and then we can start filling these little holes as well. Yes, once it's all clean, paint first. Uh, the filler for these holes is on order. It should arrive tomorrow. So we got we got the bits that I just showed you last night. We picked up some bits, which will get us started for today. Um, so Shell can clean in here and then um, just hammer right all the holes up for now to cover any rust so that we out with the rust uh, we've got some rust paint for outside yeah the bits at the top as well they can get uh, they can get a bit of treatment going on and might just rub them back a little bit first and then hammer right them we got a tin of under seal got some filler to start filling back order a new indicator and wires um, so it's just about getting it something light now What's dripping? That'll just be water, condensation from the night and rain and stuff just dripping off because we've been shaking the van. So it'll be running around the uh, the internal and out. There's nothing inside. There should be no water inside last night because I sealed it up with the uh, with the tape. So there's only that bit from yesterday. But other than that, it's just crack on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. As you can hear the wind was quite bad so I'm spraying some primer on here uh, just to cover the burr metal and stop the rust coming back through. I went for the Rustin's uh, rust converter which is just a water-based paint on so I'm going to paint it on around the wheel arch and any other rust spots uh, we find it's just a case of give it a shake mix it up and then brush it on. Once that was on, I then started with the filler. I mixed the tin first before adding any hardener just to make sure it was all, uh, all the resin was distributed evenly throughout the putty. And then I added the hardener. It wasn't very specific on what level of hardener so I took a best guess. I just took it gradually and built the layers up, got the shape that I wanted and in the end I was quite happy with uh, how it turned out. <laughs>
go. That's starting to look uh, a bit cleaner, isn't it, Mrs. Mop? It is. It does. Uh, it took about four mops. I don't know how many brushes. A uh, couple of hoovers. I'm just going to go and loosen more stuff that I can't get with the mop with my hand and then mop it through again and then back it and then mop it again and then it should be ready to do what we need to do. So uh, It's ground in dirt. It's like stuck mud patches here that's really hard. I mean, we'll never see it again when it comes out, but it's better to be clean before we start. Yeah. And then we can see what's rusted, what's not. That's we can get easy. stuff on, get it treated. I want to get these um, holes the yeah well once once they're done they can be dried uh, just with the air gun dry them off and then hammer out them yeah and then they're ready for um, ready for filler when it arrives tomorrow because that's glass fibre filler that one yes I'm the professional screwer from the So rust stuff on all the way around this arch, down into that corner, starting to build out filler here. It doesn't look pretty at the moment. A bit of spray over the top bits. And a bit of rust stuff in there and I'm gonna put some more under seal on in there. Just, it was flaking away that. must be home very shortly. It's been a productive day though. Um, Shell's off to the rescue now. She's taken the hedgehog back and I've just put some primer on all the burr metal. But I've just chased a drip down the side of the van. I can see it there now. But the rest isn't too bad. And my lines aren't bad at all really, considering what it looked like. There comes the boy. I took the hedgehog to the rescue centre um, and the lady there said he was very dehydrated and they put him on a drip straight away and also a, a heating mat and I'm to phone back um, in a few days. Fingers crossed. And fingers crossed he will be okay. Good stuff. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I know it's a, a little bit of a longer video, but there was quite a lot to get through. And we, we didn't get everything done that we wanted done, but we, we achieved quite a lot with that side and the inside looks so much better and so much cleaner now after Mrs. Mop scrubbed it for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> so thanks very much. Um, please like, subscribe. Ring the bell. And uh, join us next time uh, to see what we get up to in this van build. I'll link to everything in the description below uh, for all the products that we used. And if you want to ask any questions or you've got any advice, then please leave a comment. We, we'd love to interact with everyone. We would, yeah. In, in all seriousness, I was completely stupid to not wear a mask when I was sanding. He without... got scolded yeah, badly. Yeah, I did. Um, and it's left me with a little bit of an irritation and a cough. So I do have a mask now and um, that will be used from here on out, especially because we're going to be doing some glass fibre work and more filler work. Absolutely. Safety's first. Good stuff. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll... Uh, See you in the next episode. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye.